interest in the optimism you have. You always mm -hmm. say that you are impatient optimism, but facing with a lot of uh, world problem like the the gap between the rich and poor, the terrorism, the slowing down of the world economy. Mm -hmm. A lot of people tend to be very um, pessimistic. Mm -hmm. But why? Why so? Why are you so uh, optimistic? Well, I think sometimes we take the short-term crises and we highlight those on the news instead of looking at the long-term perspective. If you look at violence around the world, yes, there are some horrific places that are still violent in the world. But if you look at the long arc of history, the world is far less violent than it's ever been. Mm -hmm. If you look back and you say, since 1990, we've cut in half the number of children that die every year. We've cut it in half. Mm -hmm. Or you say, in China, 700 million people have been lifted out of poverty. Yes, there are still 40 million to go, mm -hmm. but 40 versus 700, that's a pretty phenomenal number. And so Bill and I look at that progress and we're always asking ourselves, how do you take the lessons from that progress and how do you accelerate it on behalf of the world? Mm -hmm. And when I go out and visit families in these remote rural areas where they're not facing a disease that maybe somebody would have faced 20 years ago, or they're not getting as many episodes of malaria in their family, and they'll tell you the difference it makes, mm -hmm. that makes me very optimistic about the world. Mm -hmm.